Alva from Division E. If there's one tip that I would like to share to become a better you, would be to take up various leadership roles in Toastmasters. Why? Because uh, let me tell you one of my own experiences. While growing up, I realized that I became a lot dependent on my family members to take decisions not only on my career but all of the aspects of my life. But after I joined Toastmasters, when I took up roles like be it a surgeon at arms or a PR or a president, I had that liberty and the authority to make decisions on my own and also see the impact of them on myself as well as the club in general. I'm the president of NMMS Bangalore Toastmasters Club. I have a small tip for all the Toastmasters uh, for regarding the crafting of the speech. So whenever I sit to write a speech, I divide the speech into three parts. One is introduction, body and the conclusion. So what I observed from an audience perspective is that whenever I am being an audience, my attention span for every speaker is high during the first one to two minutes of the speech. So whatever your introduction is, the audience span of listening is quite high during those times. So you have the, uh, <clears throat> the primary objective of the speaker of being me is to transit the concentration level of this audience through to the body of the speech and for the conclusion of the speech. So what I usually do is I have a quite interactive session, quite interactive questions or I try to engage audience through humor or other things in the body of the speech so that my body and the way I think for the speech is conveyed to my audience. So that when I go to the conclusion of the speech, the conclusion becomes more effective and relative to all the audience. So this is one of my uh, tip which I usually follow for all my speeches, for president's speech to all the CCs and uh, pathways which I follow. As part of Toastmasters, we get to learn a lot. We get to learn about leadership, we get to learn about communication. And it's great that our CCCL manuals cover a lot about this. Well, there is something more important that we get, and those are the educational sessions. Now, these educational sessions cover some very important topics like how to say no, how to apologize, how to behave. I would love it if Toastmasters had some official material on these things. It would be really helpful. Thank you. Do you have a problem in maintaining eye contact with the audience? If yes, try following this tip. Just define 5 focal points. This 5 can be the maximum depending on the size of your stage. Just define whatever these 5 are coming to you in such a way that it should be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Throughout your speech or the time when you are on stage, keep scanning through these 5 points that you have defined. The audience will feel that you are actually maintaining a very good eye contact with each of them but actually you are trying to club that fear that you are actually getting by looking into people's eyes. Hope you found this helpful.